get started. I think there should be like a really good Star Wars intro to this. You know, like a Star Wars. <laughs> Wow. All right. So this is Halloween 2021. Gosh, do you remember last year we were doing the same thing, but it was obviously in my room, very yeah. conf confined space. Um, and we were doing something witchy. Mm, yeah, I remember that one. It was a very good one. It was a uh, green face. Yeah. It was from the witch show, uh, wasn't yeah, it? it? Yeah, was, it, it was from Wicked. It was Wicked, Wicked Inspired. Wicked, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. And here we are again. And what are we doing today? Well, I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to know because you're going to obviously read the, um, what is that? The caption, the title. Yes, the <laughs> title of the video. But this look is really interesting because we literally don't have the things required for this look, but we're still going to wing it and we're going to do gonna it. It's going to be amazing. It's going gonna... It's gonna to be like, I don't know, like. <laughs> Just mind-blowing, guys. Mind-blowing. I've got a l very exciting thing for all Star Wars fans out there, literally. I think the makeup is going to be great, obviously, but then the end, <laughs> I've got a special surprise to complete the look, and I hope that that works. I hope that works. So let, let's do this. Let's go on with this makeup for Halloween 2021, and we're doing Darth Maul, everyone. Like, seriously, I mean, I, I feel like I don't even know who Darth Maul is. Like, I've watched Star Wars, but I haven't watched all the episodes. <laughs> like, seriously, I know I know there's Darth Vader, so I'm pretty sure Darth Maul is something to do with Darth Vader. Or maybe he is the Darth Vader. Maybe, we, we're not sure, but what we know is that, um, yeah, we're going to do the makeup for Darth, uh, Darth Maul, and um, we've got all, not a lot of things required. We're not doing the horns, literally, that's not going to work because we don't have a, things available for it, but we're still going to wing it, and we're going to see how this works. So guys, stay tuned in for this. This is what you want to see. <laughs> Oh my goodness, guys, I can, this is like, what is that? I feel like a character from Disney. Which character? I don't know, the guy with the <laughs> white brows. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. I like it. <laughs> guys, I like it, literally. So this is the whole process, wow. So this white's going to turn into red. Um, so now I'm going to put the wax putty on top. Okay. And that's just to kind of smooth out the brow so you kind of don't see much of the hair texture mm, okay yeah. so imagine if star wars the people who are actually doing the makeup are doing yeah. one makeup on one person and that person is just going to be at the background yeah oh, lord oh. the amount of effort yeah you know the effort into one person in the background is like too much insane i mean i i'll give you an example because um my experience with getting makeup done and do make you know sitting on the makeup chair for long yeah. was um when i became a, a drag almost like a drag queenish look yeah. it was um it was for a show last year we did it um and i was the bearded lady apparently oh, so okay. they pretty much just did baselines you know they gave me extensions on my um brows yeah and they did whole my eye makeup and stuff and you know just pretty basic stuff really yeah but that basic stuff took <laughs> a long time. It did. It was like I was, I was, and every time before the shoot starts, 
before the girls even i mean the girls would pretty much just come up and they would be like oh that's fine put harrison in the makeup chair and i'll be the first person in call outs to get into the makeup chair and i'll be there for at least 30 minutes at least yeah. and get that done yeah put and dark makeup yeah yeah and it was 30 minutes that that was quick because you know i mean 30 to 45 minutes really um not and yeah. bad for drag because they're intense looks they are and that lady was getting all artistic and everything every time and i was like well and i was and honestly i had some closer looks but it was mostly i was just there for at least two three seconds and for those two three seconds i had to sit in the makeup chair for 30 45 minutes yeah and get myself sorted out and then wear a dress and you know yeah exactly. wear heels Oh. That. How was that? It was an experience, can I just yeah. say? Would you do it again? Mm, <laughs> maybe if it's a good, you know, yeah. if it's something fun and if it's exciting, yes. Yeah. Because it was a good experience, I must say that. And everyone on set was concerned about is Harrison going to fall down in those heels? <gasps> <laughs> Even the actors, oh my god, really? they were just like they'll pass by and they're like, "You need to sit down." And I was like, I'm okay. And then they'll be like, because I was wearing stiletto heels. Oh, yeah. And I was like, um, they're pretty high. I don't know how how girls or drag queens wear them. Yeah, the really high ones. Mm. Eh? Yeah, I can't eat them. Like. And I was running in them. Oh, were you? I was walking in them. Oh I was on God. the grass with them. Insane. And it was, yeah, my feet were literally Dead. cursing me every time and i i was like okay just stay in the character i just don't want to take it off because once i take it off i'll be too uh, too um comfortable. comfortable and then it's just like putting them on was a struggle as well yeah so i was like i'm just gonna take them off but uh, i'm not gonna take them off but oh my goodness mm -hmm. and then the earrings that i was i was having those clip earrings clip-ons oh yeah my ear oh my hurt. goodness yeah, they they, really they they left a mark i was literally okay. having marks yeah and that was just bruises and stuff. So it was yeah. insane. Yeah. Sounds like, like... I don't know how drag queens do it all the time. Yeah. I can't even imagine. I mean, they do it themselves. And imagine... Yeah. I, and you know what? I feel like whatever you see them doing makeup, um, I've seen that they enjoy it because for them it's a process. So they'll just like go three hours to four hours. Yeah. And they'll literally just eat drink you know do all of that do shenanigans that, yeah. because they need to bake i feel their face yeah oh my goodness <laughs> i've never heard the term baking and then i heard and then i saw and then i was like what is this it was intense yeah wow. pretty intense pretty crazy looks yeah but honestly when i do my makeup like i do take that long and i'll like mm. eat in between you know yeah and i feel like chill. yeah yeah and i feel as long as that's a process that's fine but yeah. sitting on the chair for three hours straight oh yeah. it's a it's almost like watching a movie without even watching it yeah literally you know what i mean like it literally is oh wow so yeah my respect for makeup people makeup artists is like extreme <laughs> i feel it's hard work it's it's a fun experience to do honestly like just being creative as well mm. yeah so 2020 was crazy for us, but 2021 ended up being even more crazier. Yeah. Like what the deal was with Delta, yo. <laughs> Legit. I mean, uh, Delta needs to calm down. Well, Delta is... It does. It is a bit calmed down, I think. Yeah. But I've heard some news and I don't want to say it, but there is something on the horizon I've heard. A new strain? Yes. Yeah. Yes. What's with that? <sighs> And apparently it's it's a bit more crazier than Delta. Yeah. Like, oh my goodness. Mm. Hopefully we don't go into another lockdown because that would be a bit... Yeah. That would be hard on everyone. That would be. And I think that more than 2020, I feel 2021 was a hard lockdown. Yeah. And it was a shorter lockdown, but it was the hardest. Mm. Um, where in 2020, we were just like in our homes most of the year. Yeah. And now it's just so weird because you can't really tell what 2022 <laughs> going to be like. Literally. Mm. It's like, will it be normal? Like yeah. now that mostly everyone's vaccinated, but you never know. You never know. Yeah. Mm. How are you feeling? Good. 
tired yeah. already. <laughs> um, wow. Okay, this is like good. Yeah. Check this out, guys. This is gonna go. By the way, if you guys haven't noticed, we're doing cinematic mode on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. <laughs> It's not, yeah, uh, yeah. It's not that bad. I feel it's all right. It's just good, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. I'm not a big fan of it, actually. I don't know why. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe I'm not doing it right. Maybe I need to figure out how to use the cinematic mode a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Very sunburned. <laughs> Should have used my SPF. <laughs> Shame on you for not wearing it every day. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Do you oh. wear SPF every day? Oh, yeah, every yeah. day. That's what I love to hear. Everyone <laughs> needs to make sure they wear their SPF every, every day. day. 50 plus. Yes, for sure. Nothing less. Nothing less. No, not one of those 20 or 30 pluses. No, no. They 50. Don't do anything. Yeah. Just go all the way with that 50 plus. 50. Early in the morning. Yeah. I just use it as a moisturizer, really. Yeah, literally. There's moisturizing um, sunscreens, literally, for the face. Mm. Amazing ones, like La Roche. Pretty good sunscreen. What one do you use? I use the one from Ultraceuticals. Oh, what's that one? Um, so they've got a, uh, I think it's a daily moisturizer with SPF 50. Oh. Oh, trust me. First, I was a big fan of Dermalogica. Oh, yeah. And then um, after that, Ultraceutical came into my life and yeah. there is just no turning back. No. <laughs> they just know. It's sh and you know what? In everything, so I use their night serum and yeah. then I use their um, daily moisturizer and then face wash. Nice. And they tell in every product to use SPF yeah. after this. So I technically have to use SPF. Otherwise, my skin does get burnt. Yeah. No, that um, makes sense. A lot of the skin peel products, yeah. like those serums, mm. you do really need to um, up the SPF because you don't want to burn from that skin that's exposed, really. Yeah. <laughs> That little skin that's showing. <laughs> we don't need it to show. We don't need it. We are just too true to the content. Yeah. Very true to the content. So, it feels weird. <laughs> it must feel so weird. No, 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 no. Uh, funny enough, it's not ticklish at all. Really? Yeah. Are you a ticklish person? Or? I am. I'm extremely a ticklish person. Yeah. But oh, um, I'm so ticklish. Yeah. But yeah. Hmm. It's pretty good. It is. And the black is looking good. Yeah. The black's looking good. And then I'm going to sharpen it up with some black gel and it'll look mm -hmm. even better. So, um, question. So, would it be good if I would have had um, the beard? Would it have made oh. any? It would have ended hard. Yeah. Oh, okay. It wouldn't have, like, been fine. Mm. Yeah. 
gave away my beard for this. <laughs> I better get the views. just what okay i mean i don't think it requires lenses it's pretty wicked already <laughs> yeah it's just like so wicked it's pretty, it's pretty satanist it's like demonic demonic possession <laughs> uh i'm gonna have fun with this i'm gonna shoot so much stuff <laughs> i'm gonna do some exorcism scenes <laughs> 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 the power of Christ comes up. <laughs> oh. This is fun. We're one hour, 12 minutes into the video, and guys, I'm loving this. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. I, if I go down like this just to buy something, people are going to freak out. Oh, they would. They would. Yeah. This is a very freaky. This is a very freaky makeup. You know? It would scare people. It would scare. <laughs> they won't be ready for it. They won't. This no. is just like, can you expect? This is, yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is evil. I can already feel, oh, the energy, the force with that's coming with this. It's just very evil. <laughs> is wicked. <laughs> A few moments later. You have killed it. Second year in a row. I think we should just make, make this a ritual. Oh, yeah. Every every Valentine's. We're sitting there. Oh, sorry. Valentine's? No. <laughs> every Halloween. <laughs> we're sitting down and we're doing this. Yeah. Literally, guys. Y'all, this is fantastic. You are amazing. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how. I just give her the pictures. The rest is just... Yeah you to do it and you've got such a steady hand yeah you can i just say that. that it's just incredible and i think that two hours and we just nailed it yeah you just it. nailed it and that's it halloween 2021 with renee <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys <laughs> and me um yeah, of course. your darth mole <laughs> <laughs> It's insane. <laughs>
And I'm just so, so happy that I actually got it because this is just like unreal, guys. This is just like next level. And you can see that the whole lights coming here and there everywhere. This look is honestly the best. I just can't stop posing. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed Halloween 2021 look. And if you did, do comment below how do you find this trend like every Halloween should I do something else should I do something else next year what do you want me to do next year comment down below and obviously if you made it this far subscribe to my channel like and share this video and yes follow me for more Halloween looks on TikTok Instagram and yeah that's that's two places that you definitely need to follow me more for now guys I'm gonna let you go I'm gonna be out of here and I shall see you pretty soon.